What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. My name's Nate. On today's episode, we're gonna be teal hunting again. Uh, I'm gonna be with my buddy Shane. It's gonna be an evening hunt, uh, going down to the mighty Mississippi River. We're gonna be hunting in the surrounding marshes down there. Uh, love this area, it's beautiful. We hunt down here a good bit. Had a nice little front push through. It's a, it's, it's a cool day today. It's, it's not overly hot. Uh, I think we were down into the 60s this morning, which is really good for us there in teal season. Pushed a lot of ducks down over the last couple of days. I think today was a little bit more hit or miss. I think some of the birds actually pushed out. But uh, but we still got plenty of birds down here to work with. The only trouble that we're gonna have today, I think, is water. Not really sure what the water situation is gonna look like, but uh, got a couple of options. We're gonna explore them and we're gonna cover enough land to be able to find a good place to hunt. So hopefully today's a good day, guys. And uh, if so, you guys will get to see it. So Y'all come along. Drag in, y'all. Pretty little spot here. Got a bunch of teal jump up. This is where we gonna hunt. A little shallow sandbar flat here. Teal season 2024. My boots are about 20 feet long. <laughs> you ain't getting wet, are you hungry? No, I ain't wet yet. Big Shane. Big Shane needs water. Yeah. Alright y'all, we all set up, me and Shane here. Uh, yeah, this is kind of what we set up in. I mean, it don't look like much, but man, the sun's beaming over our shoulder and them ducks are not going to be able to see us. I was just standing in the decoys throwing decoys and they had ducks trying to come in, so. Uh, yeah, we're good as far as a hide. I know it don't look like much, but it's just teal and if they're flying low, feel bad for them. They just doing what they want, huh? Yeah, they landed right there. Yeah. That's, look, that may be where we end up having to move to. Yep. They come. Nope. Look at that one. Whatever comes in, shoot it. If that thing comes in, shoot it, all right? They're flying high like that, they're going to see us. These flocks are flying a little bit higher than what the first couple of birds did, so we're going to try to blind up a little bit here. You know, try to cast a little shadow over us. And if we could do that, we're going to be in good shape. You head down and just sit still. Let's just see what happens. I'm down. No, no, They're coming. They're rapping? Yep, they're coming straight ahead. Just tell me when. They're lowering over in front of us. Oh, I see him, okay. Oh, Alright. You get the call. Alright. Kill him. I mean, not. Two. Sailed. Sailed? Yeah. Oh man. Alright, right, I'm gonna go get these two real quick. If they start doing that, it'll be over with quick. Yeah. Mine was over the deagle. I, I know, they kinda all went my way, I know. Yeah, you good. But it was either it was either there or nothing. So yeah, where's the second one? They're both dead right here. Oh, Thank you, buddy. Hopefully the next group you get a shot. I'm gonna stop drifting, y'all. Softer on me, yeah. All 
right. There's one. Come on now. Number two there. Woo. First marsh run of the year. Got my cardio in, I guess. Yeah. Bird number one and two, y'all. I hope they come in closer next time. <laughs> Should have let them land. They wasn't gonna. They weren't? Yeah, they were lifting when I called it. That's why that bird was so far back by the time I saw it. I ain't gonna lie, dude. They look like they wanted to, to like last second, they look like they wanted to dip down. They but they lifted, they lifted, and then looked like they wanted to dip, which was weird. <clears throat> the old model duck. Cool to actually see him get the feet, huh? Yeah. Looks like this spot is going to be pretty dry here shortly. Uh, not seeing a whole lot flying. Not, not right now. Uh, we may end up having to maybe move over a little bit to a little bit deeper area or we'll just hunt here anyway. Sometimes, I mean, you can hunt over like barely any water with a couple of mojos and them teal will still eat it up. So we may just stay put here for the evening. Um, but it'll be, it'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, you take a gamble. You come where it's perfect. You, you can make two, you know, you got two different choices. You can come and be in the spot and when it's perfect and it looks perfect. And then just kind of hope you get your limit before all the water goes out. Or you can go to a little bit deeper water and then wait for the water level to drop down to the good level right around, you know, right before dark. And hope you get them then. Uh, we kind of chose the first choice. We could always adjust later is what I figured. But if you go to the deep spot and all the teal all evening long pile over here by the shallow stuff and you just watch teal all morning, I mean all evening, then uh, you know, that would be kind of pointless. So that's a gamble, you know, either way it's a gamble. This is the definition of the tide changes the duck. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Tide dictates everything. You talking about like picking everything up? I'm talking about picking all the decoys up and going walk straight across and drop it off. Mm. That way we ain't got to come back and deal with it. But that way we might be able to hunt all the way till shooting time's shooting, up. Shooting, yeah, until dark. If we go over there. I mean, that's the second big group that pitched right there. We're going to do it, we got to do it now. Yeah, I say we just do it, bro. Screw it. I'm going to get the decoy if you want to start. Well, I guess ain't much. Can you go grab the boat and bring it to the little canal? Yeah. Yeah, do that. All right. Bring it to the canal right now. I can bring it to the canal and that way you can just slot float the whole P Rog in. Can you can you bring the P Rog? I can. Yeah, bring the P Rog. I'm gonna pick up all the decoy. You have to get the hook for it? Yeah. What about the mojos? You gonna carry the mojos? I'm gonna bring them to the bank. I'm just gonna stab them in the bank right there. I think that's a good idea. I think that's the only idea. Honestly, bro, that's the second group of birds we seen pitch over there and that water's deeper than what we had now, so well I might as well make that little move. Yeah, might as well do it now. Yeah, if we do it if we don't do it now, it ain't gonna be ever, so We'll be hunting over a mud flat in about 10 minutes, so. Get right off on this point over here. Okay, you gotta tell me where for. I'd say just anywhere back here. Are you taking a P rock with you? We're just gonna walk.
Days like today when you shoot your woman it makes you grateful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We will see how that plays out too. <laughs> I ain't been shot at. Not even a flare. No. I love how you can see that bright orange feet, huh? Yeah. Great duck. Kneeling down in the mud. A grind of a hunt here, y'all. Man, them Tia was sitting in that right there. Unbelievable. They were coming in, we were watching, they were coming from this direction. So they were just kind of like coming in and sitting straight in. They weren't even like making passes or anything. So, hoping that with the mojo right there, they might come in and just kind of stall right on back to mojo. When they do lift up, they're gonna come right over this little island and then hopefully just sit like right, right where the mojo is. And give us a shot. If they turn on, it won't take long. We'll get them pretty quick. All model ducks. We've lost our water and seemingly lost the ducks too in the process. Uh, seen a couple flying off in the distance, but uh, I think this is pretty much over with. But hey, I mean, got a chance to pull the trigger on a couple of ducks. I uh, got to see some beautiful, beautiful model ducks working right into the decoys today. I mean, but here comes another one right here. This actually might be a teal. Nope, wood duck. Got to see some of that too. Um, so I mean, look, all in all, good day in the marsh. I enjoy coming out here, regardless if we kill limits or not. Y'all know that. Uh, I just love being out here, y'all. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up, y'all. All right, you guys, I'm back out here. It's actually the next day. It's the next evening. The last evening of teal hunting here in Louisiana for the teal season. And uh, Already got a little bit of an obstacle here, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all this here. I don't know if y'all can see it too well, but right over here, there's a raft of lilies that are slowly moving this way. I don't really have a pond on the other side yet. Uh, it's moving with the wind here. And I got my little setup out here, little pile of decoys there. I didn't want to put out all my decoys because of I put out a stick. I don't know if y'all can see the stick that I put out there in the water. When that patch of lilies gets to that stick, I'm going to have to grab these decoys and most likely move to the backside of all of these lilies. I'm hoping that the wind dies down enough to where these lilies kind of slow way down and maybe even settle down. And if they do, we'll be in good shape. Um, I, don't, I don't mind if the lilies get all the way almost to that stick right there. As long as they just stay over there. Because when they come through, they're going to take everything with it. They'll take, them, they'll take the mojos, they'll take the decoys, everything, and just push it over there. So I got to get out, grab it, move over on the side, and get around the lilies. And then get reset up again. But, uh, but yeah, y'all, I'm all set up. It's about, about 4.15 in the evening, so we probably got about another 
hour or so until we start to see a good flight, I would imagine. But, but we're here, we're set up in the P-Rog here. I just kind of pulled up on this little island and uh, I'm gonna get comfortable, get the guns loaded and uh, wait them out. I'm by myself today. Shane couldn't make it today, so I'm by myself. There's a little grass bed that's like right by these lilies. I'm hoping that it just kind of grabs that grass bed and it just stops. That would be wonderful. If that happens, we'll be peachy the rest of the evening. But All right, I'm going to get loaded up, y'all. I just happened to look up and they were flying away right here. They might have saw me standing up. <laughs> That's a good sign though. I just got out here. How'd you get away? I got three in one shot. Should have had that fourth one. Probably was just right out front of him. He was pretty close and I was aiming right out front of his beak. I probably, probably missed him a little far out front, but that's good. Got three birds. Still really early. I didn't have the GoPro rolling when they when they made the first pass, but they swooped right through here and banked right around. Came right in the decoys. Just like you want them to do. Slip back in there. I worked out exactly how I wanted it to. Just how I envisioned it whenever I set up. Should have had four. Should have had four. Man. I love these little blue wings, man. The early season blue wings. I know they look really good when they're in full plume, but I like them when they look like this too. I think it's more of a, uh, a symbol, I guess. These brown birds are more of like a, it's, it's finally here, you know? I love solo hunts, y'all. You know, I'll, I'll, I love getting out with the buddies and all that, don't get me wrong, but there's something really intimate about these solo hunts that I really like. It's quiet, it's laid back, and I don't know. I've always liked solo hunts, very quiet, peaceful. Yeah, feels right, you know? Man, I just reviewed that shot cam footage and I had another bird down. I had four. 
and he flew this direction I don't know if I didn't see him at all I don't know if he got up and flew away or not how'd you get away I guess he got up and flew away I didn't I didn't see him anywhere I was shooting at a whole different bird That sucks. So bad. Oh man, it's frustrating. That's what happens when you shoot into a flock of ducks. It happens, but I always try to shoot as many ducks as I can as fast as I can. It's always an objective of mine to put the least amount of pressure on the, the ducks as I can. So if I can knock down two or three, four in one shot, I'll do it. I'm not opposed to it because the trade-off of getting in and out of a hole as fast as I can to give the bird a rest is worth it to me. But sometimes there is collateral damage when shooting into the thick of a flock instead of picking one duck. I mean on that one, I was really only aiming at two, aiming to get two in one shot. But it happens all right so i looked at the footage he got up and he flew that way uh, so i'm gonna i'm gonna paddle over here just to see if he don't try to jump up or something and if not then he must have he must have got up and flew away must have not been hit as good as he looked in, the, in that shot cam clip it looked like he was hit real good but um sometimes it could be deceiving so i'm gonna go check see if i can find him i'm gonna definitely make an effort I mean, you just think about that, man. If I'd, have, if I'd have killed that one duck and hit that one that tried to leak out, oh, man, I'm mad at myself. I wasn't more aware of what I was seeing, man. I don't think I was composed enough on that one. That's really all it boils down to because if I would have shot, paid more attention, I could have I could have hit the one that I, that, I, that I crippled, finished him off, and then shot the other one leaking out of the, out of the, out of the pond. And I actually took my time and made that shot. Man, that's one I wish I could have back because I should have had five out of that group. Still sitting out here, y'all. Got about 45 minutes left of legal shooting light. And uh, I haven't been seeing a whole lot flying around. I haven't seen anything, really. Those three birds whenever I first came in here and that one flock, and that's it. Um, I guess now I'm just kind of hoping to get lucky because uh, it doesn't seem like they got a whole lot of teal around here right now. But we're gonna sit. We're gonna sit all the way until uh, 6:47 at sunset. So that'll be whenever I'll have to wrap it up. But hopefully something else comes in here and can close out the 2024 teal season on a good note. It's already been a good hunt, honestly. So, but yeah, I'd like to. I like to get one one little group coming here and, and finish it off. That'd be awesome. This sunset is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful evening. I haven't seen any other ducks, but Mother Nature sure is putting on a show. Dragonflies are unbelievable. All right, boys and girls, 648, that's it. That's all they allow you to hunt. So, that's it for teal season. I'm sure they'll all start coming in now, y'all. <laughs> Go ahead and start picking up these decoys. I mean, that's worth coming out here right there. Huh. Yes, indeed, y'all. There's the bounty for today. Three tealy birds. Should have been five, if you want me to be honest with y'all. 
Hey, bro. Beggars can't be choosers. Beggars can't be choosers, y'all. Still a good day, y'all. Still a good day. I can't get over this sunset, y'all. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Boy, God knows how to paint a picture, man. <sighs> I think this pond is going to do well for us come duck season. A little bit of grass in here is real secluded back here. I think it's going to do real good for teal in this pond come big duck season. I think there's gonna be a green wing and blue wing uh, little sanctuary back here, especially whenever the water jumps and them birds push up the road. I think we're gonna do good in here certain days. It ain't gonna be a day you, it ain't gonna be a spot you hunt all the time, but it'll be a spot that produces when we do hunt. Good little hunt, y'all. I ain't mad at it at all. 